Hey guys, Jace Kane and Mitch of the Asian Pop Experiment. This is a Joy 94.9 podcast. On January 19 on our show, we got to chat live to Malaysian recording artist Nadira. She was absolutely amazing. This is what happened on our show. Make sure you check out nadiraworld.com for more information on Nadira and check us out on our Facebook page, Joy Pop the Asian Pop Experiment, or get onto the Joy website, joy.org.au, and search for the Asian Pop Experiment. Joy 94.9, yeah. the Asian pop experiment with Jace, Kane, and Mitch. And that's Nadira with Do It Again. Oh, I love her songs. It's a very good song, that one. And you might know Nadira's track, Tear Us Apart. We've played it quite a few times on the show in the last couple of months, and we played it last week. And lucky for you guys, we have her online direct from uh, Malaysia right now. Hello, Nadira. Hey, what's going on, Jace? How are you doing? Very well, thank you. How's your day been? My day has been, um, well, it's been all right. You know, um, I was a bit busy in the morning, but I'm okay right now. I'm kind of like just sitting down and playing the internet. Oh, look, that's very good news. So uh, we might, might get into asking you a little bit about uh, how young you were when you decided to be a performer and a, a, a musician. How young I was? Well, um, I never thought that I'd be a performer. I, don't, I always wanted to be a performer, but my dad always told me, you know, like he didn't like the idea of me being a performer, but he did send me to music school ever since I was little, so I have been performing since I was small. Oh, wow. You know? Yeah. So um, don't become a performer, but let's send you to music school. Yeah, he sent me to music school. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you have any other career paths in mind other than that? Um. Well, you know what I was doing um, before I started performing and stuff I was working in advertising and I was in advertising for quite a number of years and then I decided to stop and go do my music full time did you work on uh, any familiar famous local campaigns um yeah what was your biggest <laughs> what was your biggest campaign you worked on maybe we can YouTube um, it plus I worked on plus highway advertisement you can check it out on YouTube oh there <laughs> I don't you know go they have it on yeah you heard it here first <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about the first time you heard your track on the radio when was this how did it feel oh okay well, I think the first time I heard my track on the radio was back in 2010 or 2009. I didn't know. I was really excited. I was just like waiting by the radio because um, the DJs told me that they were going to play it. So I sat in the car waiting for the song to play and like, you know, getting my friends to film me and stuff. Wow. Was happening. So it was really exciting. I was excited. So was that the track that we just heard, Do It Again? Yeah, that was it. Do It Again. Very good. So you didn't have to approach them. They found it and they decided to put it on. Sorry? So you didn't have to approach that radio station and ask them to play it. They just found it and decided to play it. Um, well, we would send in the songs to the radio stations as well. Uh, and they would have to pick it and see whether it's okay to be played on the radio or not. Okay. Hits FM seems to be a pretty good support of yours, and you also support them quite a bit in the, the things they're doing, some of their promotions and, and that sort of yeah. thing. Is it a relationship that you think uh, has helped you grow quite a bit and get your work out there? Definitely, definitely. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm so thankful that, you know, Hits FM has been supporting my music since day one, you know, because if, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing now. I wouldn't have people listening to my music, you know. So um, I'm really happy that they they like me and, you know, it's good. <laughs> it's good and, like, yeah. Mitchell's going to jump in and ask you a question. Hey, Nigeria, this is Mitch. Uh, hey. uh, I was just saying hello. Um, hey, Mitch, what's up? I'm a Hits fan myself, and I noticed on Twitter that you're tweeting to them a lot. I was just wondering who's your favorite presenter and why. Who's my favorite presenter from Hits FM? Yeah. Oh, I would probably have to say um, JJ and Ian because they're so hilarious. Because <laughs> you helped them out uh, recently with uh, a bit of a track to support the local Malaysian football team, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I did, yeah. Uh, should, should we make us sing it live right now? <laughs> Do you want to give us a line? Sorry? Do you want to give us a line of the song? The line of the song, the Hitam Kuning? Yeah, go for it. Oh, God. <laughs> hitam Kuning, Hitam Kuning, Hitam Kuning. You're making me, you're making me act like a fool right I'm now. I'm going to sing the Go Tigers <laughs> part. Go Tigers, go, go Tigers. 
<laughs> it's a very catchy okay. song. <laughs> yeah, it's a really catchy song. <laughs> How difficult is it for a local Malaysian artists to get their English tracks played on local radio? Do you have to have a bit of financial backing or perhaps just the good contacts? No, um, no. Well, for me, it wasn't financial backing. For me, I think um, it was more of the contact. Plus, um, they have to believe in your song, and you have to believe in your song because without that, then you won't be able to, you know, present it to them, and they wouldn't approve of playing your song on the radio. Sure. Yeah. You returned last year with a new album. Uh, how long were you working on the album? Which one? On Twelve Shades. Yeah. I spent I spent about a month recording and three about three to four months just preparing everything else. So total, you could say about five five months. Wow, cool. Five, Kane. Months, yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, Nadira. Hey. Hey, it's Kane. Hey. Um, I don't know if you can hey, tell my voice up. apart from Mitch's, <laughs> but um, your single, Terrace Apart, made it to number one on the hits at the, bleh, the hits <laughs> MET 10 chart for 2011. That must have been a really good feeling, right? Great feeling, great yeah. feeling. What a feat. Um, sorry? What, what a marvelous yeah, achievement. Number one. What? It, that was a big achievement for you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, uh, it was it was also on the hit um, top forties for number one. Number one. Oh, well. really? I didn't see that. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. even better. Well done. That's that's great. You know, that's really good because um, I'm I, I feel great because not everyone gets to have their track on the top forties. For sure. Yeah. Well done. So I've been I've been yeah blessed like that. Hey Nadira, how did you make contact yeah. with Ronnie Jones? Was it your first? choice to uh, feature in the single Terrace Apart? Because I saw on Twitter <laughs> no, you said he's your favourite. <laughs> no. Um, well, he contacted me from Australia. Oh, there you go. He, con- he contacted my manager and um, decided to want to, you know, collaborate. And uh, I decided, okay, he was the last person that approached me just as I was wrapping up the album. Wow. So, yeah, so Terrace Apart is really spontaneous. And I think we better say happy birthday to him because today's his birthday, coincidentally. Yeah. There you Happy go. Birthday. <laughs> so I saw you recently performed at an event uh, in December in Cyberjaya. Any big concerts uh, coming up? Any shows in 2011? Uh, 2012? Um, Whatever year it yeah, might be. Yeah, <laughs> forget it. The year. Um, well, 2012, there are a lot of things planned. Um, I don't know when I'll be having a big show next, but I do have a performance that I'll be doing on Valentine's Day. I mean, the day before Valentine's Day. For the hopeless romantics out there. Yeah. (laughs) Kane. (laughs) Finally, um, will we have a chance to see you perform anytime soon in Australia? Perhaps at Merdeka Day? Oh, you know, I would love to go to Melbourne because I've never been there before. But I I do have so many friends there. Uh, Oh, yeah. but one day if I get an opportunity to go and maybe, you know, I would go. I would definitely go. It's like a mini KL here in, Mel- in Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> mini <it>? KL. <laughs> yeah. Mini I KL swear KL there's so many Melbourne? Malaysian people On that here. subject, uh, our Chinatown in Melbourne is actually being taken over completely by Malaysian <laughs> restaurants. I think mm. it's kind of half wow. and half now. So go on a Satu Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Satu Malaysia. <laughs> How can Aussies find out about your music and, and find out a little bit more about you? How can we buy your tracks? Well, you can buy my tracks on iTunes, on Amazon, on CD Baby for for international. Um, you can check out my website, which is nadiraworld.com, where I have all the information there. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us on the show tonight. And okay, we thank you. wish you all the success. Do you want to um, perhaps introduce uh, Terrace Apart for us? Oh, definitely. But before that, I just want to say thank you, Jace, for giving me a call and interviewing me. It's great. Uh, and also, yeah. <laughs> the next song is Tear Us Apart. Thanks, Nadira. You're on Joy 94.9, the Asian pop experiment with Jace, Kane, and Mitch.